What's up guys, Paul here from the Stream Geeks. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create some awesome virtual sets and use them with Zoom. Check this out. This is a teacher virtual set that I'll show you guys how to bring directly into Zoom. Um, it's really cool. And we're going to talk about all of this and more after this. All right, so here I am. I have this cool little pull up green screen that I purchased for about $100 and it looks really awesome and it allows me to jump into these cool virtual sets. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about what a virtual set is, how to use it with Zoom, how to use it with OBS, how to use it with vMix, and why it's so cool, why it makes kind of presenting that much better. Um, I'm a huge fan of virtual sets. In fact, over the years, I have created uh, at least 10 virtual sets, which I'm gonna give you for free. I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorites. Here's another one. This is one of my favorites. It's like a classroom setting. We're kind of like back to school. So I wanted to show you some of the back to school ones, but there's there's uh, lots and lots of virtual sets that you guys can download for free at the link below. And I have a whole course on how to create your own virtual sets. But I wanted to start with what is a virtual set, right? What the heck are these virtual sets? Well, a virtual set is essentially a background, a foreground, and talent in between right? That is what a virtual background, a virtual set is. Now, I wanted to mention that as of Zoom 5.2, Zoom has got all of these awesome tools. So here I am bringing a virtual set into Zoom. And in the video settings now, inside of Zoom, they have cool new virtual backgrounds and virtual what they're calling video filters. So it's like a, a video overlay. It's not necessarily a virtual set, but it's pretty close. And it actually can add some really cool flavor to your video meetings and it's super free and easy. Here's one that I really thought turned out nicely in like a classroom setting. Um, so it really, really takes video calls up to a new level and we're all going through a lot of Zoom fatigue right now and video fatigue. So this makes you feel maybe a little more confident on camera, makes you feel a little bit more fun. And it even works uh, with these like augmented reality filters that are super cool. So I am excited about what Zoom is doing and I'm even more excited about what you can do combining virtual set technology with what Zoom has to offer with all of their video filters. So once again, this is me. I have a green screen behind me. It's just a simple pull up green screen. And what I'm gonna do today is show you how to make your own virtual sets or use the ones we have to make even cooler presentations where you can now go beyond just a simple overlay or video filter and actually bring people in to like an immersive environment. And you can design these with Photoshop. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that to create these awesome uh, really present, present video presentation tools. So a virtual set, what is it, right? It is the combination, you're basically sandwiching yourself in between this background and foreground. That is what a virtual set is. And that, if you break that down, now you can create your own custom background, you can create your own custom foregrounds, and then you can put yourself with a green screen chroma key together. Now, this is what a virtual set looks like inside of vMix. Now, I'm a big vMix fan. Um, this will work in Wirecast and OBS as well, but vMix is one of those cool tools that actually allows you to have like four preview areas. And what that means is I, these are like zoom levels. So I can essentially um, click a zoom level and decide where I want it to zoom into. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like at a high level here. And essentially that is my zoom level. So you can kind of zoom in and out using this tool here inside of vMix to set up presets. So it's like, I want it to zoom in all the way to right here. And then you click a button and it zooms into right there and you can kind of pan and tilt around the room. It's really cool when you like go like left to right. 
Like, let me show an example here. Like, let's say we start over at this window here, right? And we say, all right, that's cool. We're going to start at that window. And then we can move like to the left and to the right. So you can kind of do these slow sweeping pans. Um, so let me show you this example here. So we kind of saved that as our left and I'll make it go real slow. Um, let's see, something like this maybe. Now I can do this slow sweeping pan and say, hey, I'm here. You've arrived at my virtual classroom, welcome. So that's the kind of things that you can do with virtual sets. So I wanna kind of give you guys a really good example of how these can be used so that you can create your own or just use the free ones that we have available below. So as I said, there's a green screen behind me. And what that means is we need to chroma key the background color out. And sometimes the background doesn't fully, isn't fully covered. So as you can see here, the green screen only goes from here to here. What about all this space back here? The, the green doesn't work there. So what you can do is you can crop. So essentially you can crop out the sides. So don't worry if there's a little something on the top or a little something on the side, it's okay. You just crop that out and just leave whatever's left in the green screen area. So the problem with that is if I reach over here, uh-oh, my arm's gone. So you gotta kind of figure out where your spacing is. But that's, that's pretty much universal no matter what software you are using for uh, your green screens and, and virtual sets. So with that being said, this is how you would chroma key it out. You usually pick, click a little droplet, and this is the same in OBS and vMix and Wirecast. You kind of tell the computer software what color green you want to chroma key out, and then your background's transparent. And then if we go back a slide, Basically, what we're saying here is that we're combining a background and a foreground with your transparent video in the middle. I want to make sure you guys understand that at a core level, because then you can start creating your own custom virtual sets. So how are some ways to use green screen? So live streaming, you can have virtual backgrounds, remote guest locations, uh, virtual LCD screens. I'm going to show a cool example of that. You can even have multi-angle virtual sets. And of course, many, many creative projects can can come from this. This is my friend Ewitt uh, from, from Europe, and he actually creates virtual backgrounds that makes it look like a television in the background. There's no glare on the TV. He doesn't have to buy a real TV. He just painted some cardboard black or green with a black border. So there's so much you can do with this technology. Many of our customers use green screens all the time. This is my friend Julia Finney from Havasu City, Arizona, and they have this great virtual set. So Again, one last thing that's kind of high level, and I'm just gonna kind of zoom in as if you were in my class here. Uh, if you have OBS or you have vMix or you have Wirecast and you're bringing these virtual sets into Zoom, essentially you're using a virtual camera output. Now this video is already at eight minutes, so I'm not gonna go into it. I'm just gonna let you know we got tons of great videos on our Stream Geeks channel that go over that. So please check that out if you wanna learn more about how to pump that video in. It involves using a virtual cam and connecting Zoom and OBS or vMix or Wirecast. So these are the free virtual sets that you guys are gonna find on our website. We've got like three specifically for sales and marketing. There's another one there. So like a boardroom, kind of like a modern office. Uh, we have some just for banking and finance, which are kind of cool banking and finance setups. We have uh, some specifically for houses of worship. So if you're a pastor and you wanna try that out, check it out. Uh, we've got, you saw some really great ones for education, for doing the virtual classrooms, and then a couple really cool ones that kind of just modern office spaces. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the chat. I am super excited to be helping you guys with this kind of stuff. Again, there's a whole course on virtual sets so you can learn how to build them yourself. I was working with a friend of mine who is trying to do virtual tours and they wanna do a lot of cool stuff like this, have virtual backgrounds and websites 
and all of that stuff. And Zoom's doing a great job adding filters and overlays, and you can take it a step further with virtual sets using a video production software like OBS vMix or Wirecast or XSplit. So there you go. Please hit that subscribe button. You won't become a video production expert overnight. So you might want to think about joining our Facebook group at facebook.com slash streamgeeks. You'll find the group there. And there's a lot of great folks sharing their ideas. So share your green screen virtual set ideas. If you made a virtual set that you want to make free to the community, uh, I'll throw it in our pack. We have like almost 20 virtual sets that you guys get for free at the link below. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.